Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you some of the new pieces that I've picked up from The Real Real probably over the last three months or so. Before I get into the video though, firstly I want to apologize for my voice. I've kind of had a bit of a throat bug which has meant I've lost my voice so please excuse that. The second thing is that there's someone outside doing a bit of yard work so I'm hoping that it's not going to pick up on camera but if you can hear a little bit of a noise that's what it is and I'm really sorry <laughs> but um, so let's let's kind of get started and um, I think you guys probably know if you've been watching my channel for a while that I really love shopping from The Real Real. It's a pre-loved marketplace and it's a really great place to pick up designer pieces that are a fraction of the retail price which is one of the reasons why I gravitate towards it so much. I'm a little bit addicted. I have the app on my phone. I've got lists that I kind of refer back to frequently and I find that it's a really great way for me to pick up those wardrobe staples that are a little bit higher quality yet I'm still not exactly breaking the bank. The other reason why I like to buy pre-loved is because there's much less of an impact on the environment. I try to shop as ethically and sustainably as I possibly can. I'm not perfect. I still buy the odd thing from Topshop and H&M and stuff. I do love those stores. But where I can, I like to buy pre-loved or something from brands like Evelyn or Grana where I can really see the whole manufacturing chain. That to me is quite important. So I've got six pieces that I want to share with you in this video and the first thing I want to talk about is this really gorgeous white lace dress. So this is from Lover and that's an Australian designer and I adore Lover. My wedding dress was from Lover. I've been shopping from them for over 10 years. They're just one of my favorite Aussie brands and I really loved this dress when it came out but when I was living in New Zealand at the time which meant that with taxes and duties it was just a little bit too expensive. But when I saw this pop up in the real real I knew I had to have it so I snapped it up I got it for a really good price they actually have 20% off all the time most they sometimes alternate the codes but usually it's the word real um, I will drop all the details in the description box below in case you want to check it out but so I snapped this up it was in pristine condition and I'm really happy with it I really like the fit it's not super tight so I've got a lot of room to move but I just feel like it's really elegant and this pairs really beautifully with a nice pair of nude sandals. It's actually how I wore it for my birthday and I will insert a photo here or here um, and also some video of me wearing it. The other way that I like to wear it is with a little faux leather jacket over my shoulders and a pair of black heels. I just think that's really classic but I also feel like it would look great with a sweater over the top or else you could also tuck it into something that's maybe a midi length skirt. I think that would look gorgeous too. So. I feel like this is going to be one of those more versatile pieces. It is a little bit more fancy, a little bit more special, but I am looking forward to kind of pulling this one out and wearing it as much as I can. The second item I wanted to share is this really gorgeous sandy colored dress from Isabelle Moran Etoile. You will have seen this featured in one of my previous videos, my 30 for 30 wardrobe challenge video, which I did for my 30th birthday. So I will link that up here so you can have a watch if you haven't seen it yet. I've also featured it on my blog too, so I will link that down in the description box below. Some of these pieces you may actually have already seen, but I kind of wanted to talk about them in a little bit more detail in this video. So um, I spotted this and I thought it would be really perfect for work. It it's a really nice silk. It feels almost like a linen and I love this ruffle detail that's on the shoulders and that actually extends right the way down the dress because it sort of wraps over and it has this gorgeous sort of thick silk uh, ruffle and it cinches in at the waist which is really nice. I think it's really quite flattering. I, I have, um, my waist is my smallest part of my body so I find it's much more flattering if I wear things that cinch me in there. So I really love that. It's really nice and lightweight and it's kind of perfect for the office. And the way that I've sort of been wearing this has been with a belt around the waist. So rather than using this little fabric belt that it comes with, I've got this gorgeous beige patent belt with gold chains on the sides from Karen Walker. I also think it looks really gorgeous with a blazer. And I recently picked up a really nice linen blazer from Yoli and Otis, which was started up by a girl that I know from Wellington. Her name's Lena. And I highly recommend going and checking out her Instagram feed. Actually, I will drop it in the description box below as well because her and her family are absolutely gorgeous and she makes some of the most incredible clothing pieces as well. Everything is sort of hand dyed, it's all using sort of organic processes which I think is really nice. So really conscious about the kinds of things that we're putting onto our body. Um, but that's kind of the other way that I would wear it, maybe with a pair of heels as well. But I just think it's really feminine, really beautiful and it's one that I know I'm going to be able to reach for a lot and that I'm always going to feel really good in. I thought I would throw the third piece I wanted to talk about over the top of the street 
dress. So this is a really gorgeous tan linen blazer from Chloe. I got super lucky with this. The price was just unbelievable, so I knew I had to snap it up. And I love the way that it fits. It's kind of got these padded shoulders, which give me a bit more structure because I have narrower shoulders and I love the fit of it. I just think it's really nice. It's quite a long line as well, which I think will look really great once the weather starts to cool down and I can wear it with jeans. But at the moment, the way I've kind of been styling it is with dresses like this, with little slip dresses as well. And I also think that it looks really cute with sort of a little cami or a t-shirt and white denim skirt combo. I really love that. I have worn it a few different ways in that 30 for 30 wardrobe challenge video so if you want to see some other ways that I'm styling it please do go and watch that but I'm just so smitten with this I will try and find a high street alternative that I can link in the description box below because obviously this isn't current season but I have sort of been on the lookout to see if I can find something similar for you guys in case you want to get this look but I love it personally I like to roll the sleeves up a bit as well just as I feel like the long sleeves are maybe just a little bit too long for me I might need to get them taken up slightly they just come over my wrists. So yeah, really, really gorgeous one. And I love the color. You guys will probably tell that I'm getting really into earthy colors at the moment. And it's definitely something that I see myself wearing a lot more as we transition into autumn. I really want to get away from wearing so much black. I've gone a little bit blazer mad recently, but when I saw this absolutely stunning wool and silk blazer from Stella McCartney, I knew I couldn't pass it up. I kind of been looking for the perfect ivory or white colored blazer and I sort of feel like this kind of fits the bill pretty nicely. It's a really beautiful dinner style jacket which I really like. It's got the one button closure. Um, it's not too long. It comes up a little bit shorter than the Chloe blazer. But it's fully lined which is really nice. Um, it's really really well made and honestly can't beat the price. I think I got this one 40% off which is a real steal. Um, but it fits really really nicely across the shoulders as you can see and this is the kind of thing that I'm still trying to figure out how to style it really well because the color doesn't pair well with white ends up looking a little bit yellow if I'm wearing anything too white but I do really like the way that it looks with a little silk cami and some pink culottes I think it's a really nice combination and also maybe with a little denim skirt and just a striped tee or something like that underneath I think it would look really cute as well this is another one where I could roll up the sleeves too but just something that I can see myself wearing a lot as we transition into autumn and also into winter as well. Because as I said, I really want to avoid wearing black so much if I can. So yeah, another really, really kind of great wardrobe addition. So these last two items are the most expensive of the lot. Um, and this particular one that I'm wearing is actually what I got for myself as my 30th birthday present. And it's this absolutely stunning navy wool pea coat from Stella McCartney. Um, I seem to be going on a bit of a Stella McCartney binge at the moment, but I just feel like this is so beautiful and I know I'm going to be wearing it a lot in the autumn and winter season. It's double breasted, so it kind of crosses over your body like that. It's very well made, really nice and soft. It's got pockets at the, at the um, hip, which I really like. It's kind of an essential in a coat for me but I love how warm it is. And it's one that I know I can layer a lot underneath as well just because it is so oversized, which is sort of perfect. It doesn't really get too cold here in Sydney in the winter time, but I feel like it's always good to have something like this that you know you can throw on, even if I'm just wearing bare legs. Now I have to admit, I got incredibly lucky with this piece because it is current season. So I think I got it for about 75% off, which is absolutely unreal. So definitely worth checking the real reel out if you are looking for things for the current season. Um, and you'd like to maybe try and get a bargain. So yeah, I'm super pleased with this and I kind of can't wait for it to cool down a little bit so I can start wearing it. Then the final thing that I wanted to share are these gorgeous heels that I got from Dior. Now I've been wanting those sling back flats for the longest time, the black ones in the uh, fabric with the white uh, Dior, Je Dior along the strap. And I actually almost got them instead of the coat for my birthday. However, they didn't have my size and they were going to adjust the strap and I just felt like it was a little bit too risky. But I saw these and these kind of sated my appetite for that. And these are the gray suede version and the low heel. I really like them. I think they're absolutely stunning. I do have some Paul Andrew heels which are a little bit similar, but I feel like these have a little bit of a point of difference. The toe is slightly different. They have this gorgeous detail along the sides and they have this really unusual, I believe this is called a comma heel, but really like them. They're very, very comfortable, really soft, and these were brand new as well. So 
Uh, I definitely got very lucky with them. I got a really good price for them as well. And they're the type of thing that is really classic that I know I'll be able to wear with a lot of things in my wardrobe. So those are all of the things that I picked up from The Real Real over the last three months. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video and I would love to know which item was your favorite. I feel like I got really lucky and I've ended up with some really great pieces, some great staples that I know I'm gonna be wearing for a long time to come. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.